This is Mike Lewis. I am here, and I almost want to say the Ace Arena, but it's not the Ace Arena. It is the Mike Morgan Jr. Arena, and I'm here with Mike Morgan himself. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. This is unbelievable. This is my my fourth arena with you now. It's pretty crazy. Well, yeah. It's been a long uh, 12 years, if you want to, yeah. of all the history we've been uh, together and stuff. But uh, this one is more special to me. Uh, this one is more towards uh, honoring my son. Yeah, I think you know, that's... So. And that's a cool way to honor him by naming it after him because it was the AWA arena and then we had two ace arenas. So it's kind of good to get away from that altogether. Well, uh, the, you know, one arena really had nothing to do with the other arena because every single arena kind of enhanced right. more as we move forward and stuff. But this one was more special because basically everything that is happening in this arena is based on what Mikey uh, kind of put together because me right. and him worked on this uh we were planning this deal before the you know the unfortunate accident that happened and um i kind of took mostly all his his papers that he was putting together the sketches and stuff and actually uh put together the arena exactly the way he wanted it to be i know it's still under construction it's still being worked out uh, well, right now well to be now. honest with you we're we're, we're almost at the finish line <laughs> i can actually see the finish line uh we're talking within days uh of getting it done um the more I've worked on it, the more I've added to it. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> I've added to it. Um, anybody who's ever been to the Knights of Columbus in Wallington uh, kind of knows the building. Um, I've actually taken the building and gave it a t tremendous it facelift. Doesn't, it doesn't completely. look anything like when I came in here last. Definitely uh, not. This so, is completely different. So, go, you know, a little bit about what we've been doing here. Uh, we kind of like... Uh, Built a whole new concession. Um, we kind of went with colors that uh, Mikey had picked. Um, we wanted to do a ramp. We've always wanted to do yeah, a ramp in every single yeah. arena. Never really had the opportunity <laughs> to do it. But uh, on this one, uh, we kind of designed the ramp. So we went with a 14-foot long I was, ramp. I was going to say we went from no ramp to the biggest ramp the we biggest could possibly ramp find. So, <laughs> uh, we you know, kind of did uh, that, uh, the whole idea with the entrance with the ramp uh with the locker room uh we basically you know painted the whole building um and we're just we're gonna keep adding to it it's it's uh it's more of a vision uh, we always wanted to do well in the papers he wanted to do more of uh put all the old memories banners up in the building that's right yeah so we're, we're thinking about it. I mean... Uh, well, you do have a Hall of Fame. There is an Ace Hall well, of Fame. Well, there is a Hall of Fame. We have a section for that already that we're already de uh, designing as we're, you know, as we're speaking. We're designing that uh, section at the beginning when you walk in to the, uh, to the arena. You're basically going to be in, like, the little Hall of Fame type um, walkway where you're going to see all the pictures. You're going to awesome. see a memorial to Michael. Um, you're also going to see everybody who's been in, you know who's in the hall of fame as of now and you're going to see a lot of you're going to through the whole building you're going to see a lot of old pictures of the old arenas uh we're going to end up spreading them out throughout the throughout the building so it kind of just gives everybody an experience that you can see stuff that from the past right to what we're doing now where we've know? been and where yeah, we're yeah, going now yeah, absolutely exactly now with an addition to this now is the school going to reopen or is this going to be a full-fledged yes school? okay uh we're we're going to go full-fledged uh you know i never do anything half-assed <laughs> so for years. we're gonna we're, we're gonna do you know uh the school we're gonna you know um put it all together like we had it before i mean it's not it's going to be totally different because you know the head training that jay did before when jay was with us and i mean jay lethal um you know he's not available now but uh we're gonna we're gonna bring some guys that have been with us for a while uh i've spoken to i've spoken to one especially uh Azrael, oh, uh go. to bring Azrael in to work with the students and stuff like that um and yeah, it's going to be an arena. It's going to be a school. It's going to be available for rentals. It's you know, I mean, we're just going to go full blown business. You know, now, see you, where you we just go said, from there. You just said it was available for rentals. So any any independent independent wrestling company come in here well, and say, hey, uh, we want to run a show. Well, before, as you know, in the old uh, the last arena, right? Um, basically, cause we've been to so many. Um, the last arena, we kind of opened the doors and, and we rented it to, you know, Shakara. We did uh, Evolve. We did Dragon Gate. You know, we also did some local small companies. They will come in, they will rent the building, and they will run their shows. Um, the difference between renting this building is that it comes with everything. Right. 
uh, everything that you can possibly need on a wrestling show from the ring, from the entrance, from the lights, from the video packages. Uh, I mean, that's if they do their own video of packages. Course, yeah. uh, but either way, we can work that out too. <laughs> but um, uh, everything will be available. All they really got to do is bring their wrestlers and bring their lineup and that's just crazy. do the show. That's really interesting. Um, that's, that's so, I mean, it's, you know, whoever's interested, you know, they know where to cat, you know, they know where to find me. I haven't changed my number in 12 <laughs> years. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's an opportunity for small companies that really don't have that big budget. Um, the building, like I said, fits 300 people. It's not a, a big, big building. But it's enough for people to just come in and have their a nice decent show and 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 run their their business. And one of the uh, important things that you were talking to me about earlier was this parking. Now well, we didn't have parking last. Well, time. yeah, yeah um, is... there's actually there's a there, there's a parking lot attached to the building. Uh, there's full access to that. There's air conditioning in the building. Wow, yeah, <laughs> that we never had before. Never had so that before. Uh, <laughs> now even in the summers, uh, whoever wants to run a show, we have air conditioning in That's the building. Awesome. Um, there's a full blown, uh, concession stand where, uh, you know, everybody knows how I've been always about, you know, the, the providing service for the fans. You could literally went to an A show back in the day just to eat. You could well, just went not to for eat. Nothing. I mean, yeah, I, it, was... sometimes it, it's kind of crazy because everybody, you know, I, I see people that I haven't seen in, in years <laughs> and, and all of a sudden I see them out of wrestling shows, man, I missed the ace food. I yeah. Was like, you know, I was like, damn. <laughs> so we're going to, you know, we're, we're going to go and provide, uh, you know, the same service we did in Union City. Uh, the only thing is that this is a, a, a way better building. It's uh, the parking, uh, air conditioning, um, ten times better bathrooms. <laughs> it, it's you know we we have uh, five offices in the building. Uh, it's it's and plus we have a, a a big locker room where guys can you know. Um, spread out and don't have to be all tied up. Now, next question I wanted to ask you was, you actually have studio space upstairs, which we didn't have. Uh, in the well, other in Union City, I really, you know, I had access to the whole building, well, but course, it wasn't yeah. like it was here. Here we actually have, we're, we're going to work on getting a, a whole studio production thing upstairs. We're going to, you know, we're going to be working with other people. We're going to be uh, one hand washers, the other type situation. <laughs> uh, we have two studios that we actually are working to do promos, to do video for overdrive that we're trying to you know relaunch again um we also have personal offices editing offices uh this we, is crazy. we have space we you have remember space. you remember the third floor when we was just a I, room with a computer with no internet uh, i remember <laughs> I, actually you know what our first office was if you actually remember back. the first arena was a dj booth yes that's what i mean that little booth that little yeah, booth yeah that little booth that had that that little glass and, it had no and, internet and it had pff, no internet. internet what, what, what is internet? <laughs> um and it's either the music guy or the guy writing the papers, or the you know nobody. Yeah. It was one person at a time. You couldn't fit two. It but was impossible. We've grown into you know. I mean, I, I gotta say, I've been blessed. Um, I've had you know. Uh, again, it's really how you treat people, and and then how you get blessed back by treating people the right way. Right. Um, like I said, I mean, uh, we went from the third floor, went to the second floor, then I moved over to the th you know the second floor on the on the right side, but. Uh, I was hoping to go back there, you know. I was really hoping to go back into that building, but, I mean, it's three years. It's too much to wait. Yeah, uh, yeah. We, you know, we looked around. We kept looking around, but... What's that building becoming now? Uh, an abandoned building. Really? Okay. <laughs> well, all right. I, there's really nothing there. They haven't really, wow. uh, they haven't really established anything. There's an owner? Uh, there's a new owner, uh, but it's one of these guys that, you know... Um, First, he wanted to do uh, apartment buildings. Then he went back to commercial. Then he went back to apartment. I really don't know. That's really on the past right now for me, in a, in a sense. I mean, uh, it, you know, there's memories there. God, course, there's yeah. so much memories in that building. But um, but we're about to build new ones. That's you know, and we're about idea. to build. I, I think right now, out of all the buildings, all, all the arenas, basically, that we've done, I really see this one as being uh, the classiest, yeah. the more uh, up to date, if you wanna, you know, if you wanna call it. I mean, there is internet here. <laughs> well, you, I was gonna say, that I know that the camera's not picking up on it. It's not quite done yet, and we are gonna come back when it is done. But just to give you an idea. The first uh, AWA arena, we had the smoke machine. 
And that was the big, that was our thing. That the, we had the no, smoke no, machine. But and now no, we no, have but you're, 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 you're taking away from the strobe light. Oh, I mean, yeah, don't take away the strobe light. Don't take away from the strobe light. You know, we, we, had the, we had the fog machine, and yep. then we would give people epilepsy. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know? so, uh, Pinky <laughs> that, really loved that, uh, the, yeah, those that lights. Yeah, little lights. Uh, but, but nothing I mean, like this. This is insane. Well, now it's, you know, we're, we're in the LED, you know. Yeah. You were in the LED era and stuff like that. So um, we kind of basically went... Uh, more modern on on the on the entrance, the lighting. Um, I mean, I want to give away too much, no, no. Uh, but uh, we're working with uh, we're working with two sixty inch TVs <sighs> in the entrance. We're working with a fifty five in a tunnel. Oh my goodness! Uh, we're working complete LEDs, or, you know, wall coloring on the LEDs, where it gives you that whole color effect. Um, and you know, we're working with. Uh, Eight huge <laughs> speakers. This is insanity, this, folks. It's it's loud. Yeah. You know, it's 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 gonna be great. You I mean, people I, across the street are gonna appreciate the loud. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll have the doors closed. Yeah. But it's gonna be pretty loud. It's gonna be, loud. It's gonna be pretty Just loud. Giving you a heads up, guys. But um, <laughs> but we're working on. Uh, you know, I, I ended up reducing. Went a little bit more um, uh, more friendly with you know with the lighting. We kind of toned it down from the regular light right. yellowish look to this LEDs daylight look in the arena. So the arena looks more lit up now. Okay. Go it's ahead. like bringing the daylight into the arena. Okay. Um, uh, again, you know, that's just to, to clarify, you know, a lot of the stuff that we've been doing. I mean, we've really done a lot of work here. Yeah, um, I, I see that. We're this going on. Wow, we did uh, Mikey's fundraiser show. And that was the last day's show today. That was, I see... I don't consider that an A show. I consider that uh, his his memorial show, or I don't even hate the word memorial. Right. It's more of a celebration of his life or what we really worked on. Of course. Um, but th my true thing was November third first when we did Crossroads Ten. Right. That to me was the last show. Okay. Um, then you know, thirteen days later, you know what happened. You know, with, with with Mikey and stuff like that. So December was just totally dealing with the whole of situation. Course, yeah. Uh, mid January, I get a call, and mind you, we already had spoken to these people in our, right ending of September, beginning of October. I had a, a, a sit down meeting which me and Mikey came to, and um, and that's when he was walking around coming up with a hundred million ideas of what we're gonna do while I'm having a meeting with these guys, and um, we discussed it, you know, and I saw what he wanted and what you know, because it was funny because he says, "Dad, we need a ramp." <laughs> So I said, okay. It's been talked about for many years. You, you know, people don't understand so I said, this. okay. So, so I said, okay, we, we, okay, well, uh, you know, how long of a ramp are we looking at? He was, ah, I'm telling you, we got to go close to the ring ramp. I was like, okay, so how are we going to get this together? He goes, well, that's your problem. You come, <laughs> up, you come up with the money. I'm just telling you what we think, what, what we need. Well, he's giving you the blueprint, yeah, not exactly it, the financials. But no, he no, 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 no. He was, he was straight out. He goes, I'll give you all the ideas. I'm just not paying for any of it, you know. But, uh, but, um, but you know, he came up with the ideas, and, you know, we discussed them. And, and, and then going back to the January meeting, they called me. And um, they were like, oh, listen, the building is still available if you're interested. And I'm thinking this building is gone. Right, at this point. You know, yeah. at this it's point, it's months. gone. It's been yeah. two months. I haven't spoken to these people. I've been dealing with the whole family tragedy and stuff, trying to get, the, you know, my other kid walking again. Of course. Yeah. So they gave, me, they gave me a call. So I was like, hey, you know what? Let me go check. I mean, what, what can, you know. Right. There's I no mean, I, 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 I thought I was done in a sense. You know, uh, it's kind of hard to, to run something as efficient as we did with, you know, it, you can't run a marathon with one leg. One leg, right. You it's, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so it was like I had lost, you know, my right hand in a sense. So I was like, you know, can I really, you know, put this together? Right. So the celebration show was basically a test for me. Yeah. You yeah. see, every, everybody took it as, you know, there's no way. That that show would have made enough money to cover the oh, medical no, expenses, man. I'm I'm up yeah. to like I can imagine millions of dollars in, in debt right now when it, it comes to to, right. to the medical bills and stuff, which is getting settled now. But that was my test to see if can I do this. It's funny because the kid was doing it, doing the shows and being part of the company. 
uh, the minute he hit high school, which was about 15. But he was always around, though. He but was, he was always, he was around, always around. But yeah. at 15 is when he actually was there. Right. Like, right. I get what you're his saying. His after yeah. school program was ace. Ace, right. He would come after so, school. So, right. you know, he would go to school, come out of school, go straight to the building, work with the building, learn how to edit, learn how to do. Sat there through all these crazy meetings and ideas. But he also did, he did the grunt work too. I remember he was taking out the garbage at one point. Well, when that, he first was, that was the yeah. only way. I mean, yeah. you, you had to earn it. Of course. You, know, you had to pay your dues. Of course. And that's where a lot of the things that, you know, I, I mean, I don't want to get into the, the whole topic of indie. Right. Uh, you know, I deserve type guys and stuff like right. that. But here you have a kid who's not really in the ring. Right. Who's not uh, basically, just basically the son of the owner, basically, if you want to look at it. Really had nothing, but he paid his dues. That's the thing. So when yeah. he held that camera around the ring, he earned that. Of course. You know, he, he was the kid who threw out the garbage. He was the kid who swept the arena. He was the kid who cleaned the locker room. He was the kid, you know, who sat there true. And, and, and learned how to edit. Uh, he's the kid who, who, who was looking for something to do. And little by little, he started, but he started at the bottom. And that's what a lot of the problems now in the, in the industry. Nobody right. wants to start at the bottom, the bottom anymore. They all know where you they know? want and they want to get yeah, there. Yeah, right. you know? It doesn't they, work that they, way. they don't want to start at the bottom. And that's what's wrong with, with, with people forgot that you have to pay your dues in this business to get somewhere. So with him, and I'm not, putting, I'm not just putting him over no, for no, that reason. No. I'm trying to explain how you build that love right. for what you do. Because you're earning it. Because you're earning it. Right. So every time you get a pat on your back because you did something, it's not a pat on your back because you, you know somebody or you did. No, it's because you worked on it. You know, um, he started at Hard Camp right behind you when you used to do That's commentary. Right. Yep. And he would tell me he was changing the tapes. I'd have to and I was like, oh, sure, sure. Don't, don't say nothing. I got to change the tapes. Yeah. Remember yeah. those I, days? Of course. And it was at 14, 15, 15, yeah, yeah on this table. I haven't sat behind this table in years. Honestly, years. Well, to be honest nuts. with you, it was in it, it was in Sip Street for three and a half years <sighs> crying because I had left it. Yeah. <laughs> it was too fucking heavy to carry. Actually, I'm last sorry, time, I'm cursing. The but. last time uh, I sat behind here was the last show at the Ace Arena. For the ace. That yeah. Was the last time I did come in the arena. Yes, that was, I was on the. Well, it's nuts. Is it, I mean, think about it. He he worked every single show. He filmed every show. He helped edit every show. He helped put the music videos together. He helped put all the entrance videos. He would together. do music as well. There were times he did music. And there was times when yeah. I used to rent the buildings to other people that he was like, "Hey, you know what? I'll do the music." Yep. I remember hanging out those shows. So he was doing music. if you if if a person really really wants to be in this business, they have to really come in very humble and just do everything that it takes. It takes to pick up a broom and sweep the you know the building. What's the problem with that? Well, see, that's to my next question is now with from the talent point of view of Ace. Like for, for me, for example, I came in as a ring announcer. And I did good there. They didn't let me commentate. Was the commentary? I started doing color. And that's exactly what I'm saying. Up, right. If you come in and you and you come with that mentality that you're going to start at the bottom, bottom of the list right. and you're going to succeed on that on that level and then there is something else that is going to arrive cuz in this business you gotta every day going, yeah. you know one guy is doing refereeing next week he's doing the music the next <laughs> week he's doing it, it just it varies. Right. So you have to be at that present time you have to be available and ready to go for anything for anything. Right. But you also have to earn that because when the person that is in charge is looking for that guy that is going to learn a new position, right. you go and say, oh, listen, you know what? He's worked his ass He's earned off. It. Right. He's earned it. Oh, but he don't know it. Don't worry about it. We can teach him. Exactly. exactly. And that's the difference between a lot of the guys. A lot of the guys walk in through the door and they tell you what they want to do. That's not how not, it works. <laughs> that's not the way it works. I mean, if you have an idea, you present it in a certain way, and you say, hey, Mike, I was thinking of this, that, and the other. And not, this is what I want to do. I always right. said, I've always said that the best, the best booker or the best promoter is the one that listens to his talent, and it's able to dissect what everybody wants and, 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 and give them what they want but also make sure that you protect the company. Of course. Company one first, everybody else's ego second, of including course. the promoters. Don't get me wrong, because, you know, sometimes you, you, you want to do a certain thing. And I've done, you've been in meetings where I've sat there and said. Don't want to do it. <laughs> Let's vote. Yeah. Let's vote. 
And I'm over here, and I, mind you, I'm the one covering all the bills, and I'm like, let's vote. Yeah. And my idea gets shot down. Right. And the, the minute a promoter can actually say, well, my idea got shot down, what are we going to do? That's when you know that it's a team effort. Right. When you have a promoter that tells you, well, what are we going to do? And this is what I have. And somebody says, well, I don't think that's going to work. And then you, the promoter says, well, I don't give a shit because that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm the one who pays for the fucking bills. Right. And I'm the one, you know, excuse again. I'm no, a little off on that. On that. Uh, but that's when you know it's going downhill. Right. You right. need to have an open mind because... It's they always say that, you know, two eyes can see better than, you know, multiple right, eyes see yeah. better than two. So it's the same way. I come in, I come with an idea. I have it. I have a vision. Right. And then um, here comes three different guys that don't see the same vision, but they have a vision to add to it. Right. Right. It's either we add to it or we just squash it completely and go and build a new vision. Right. But you need to have security enough to know that even though you're still in charge, and you're the one who's covering the bills, you can still manifest storylines and, and accept them. Right. No matter where they come from, and just make it a whole that benefits the company. But you have to be willing to branch but out. But you have to right. be willing to branch out mentally. A lot of people can't do that. A lot of people are, you know, I'm the owner and I'm stuck with that right. decision. And it, it doesn't help. No. I, now, the question I want to ask you is, now that we're, we do have a home again, and this is home, what changes from the talent point of view? Do you have to step your game up a little bit more now that we're more a home? I'm, I'm going to give it to you this way. And, and you're totally going to understand, and I'll explain it to, to, to the fans exactly what, we're, we're, what I'm saying. Maybe is. even the talent that might be watching this. 2010. Okay. That was one of our best years. Right. 2010, 2011 was, we, we were flying high. Yeah. You know, every show we did, we were packing the house. The talent was at its peak. Yeah. That's where we're going. Okay. That's where I'm going. So you're basically telling any talent that's an ace right now to, if you want to get there, maybe take a look at what well, the stat, what well, it was in 2011? Let's put it this way. Let's, let's, let me give it to you this way. There is no talent in ace. Okay. There is no. And I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way. What I'm saying is there is no secure spot okay. right now. There's open doors. We're going, I'm going to tr put together, not try, I'm going to put together the best quality locker room that is going to give us 110%. That's basically it. Okay. There's no secure spot. There's no, no there, there's nobody in, on the contract. So there's nobody a, should be coming in here that first There's show nobody think, expecting. Right. There's nobody no should expecting. expect anything because the, the, the way the business is, is that we need some change. Right. Right. We need change. The locker room needs change. You know, the, the, the management totally needed change. That's why we're here. Right. We're, at a, we're at a total, this is a new era. And again, when it comes down to this spot right here, it's about quality. Absolutely. You because know. you put this into it. This is gorgeous. I mean, we're still under construction, but when it's done, I have no doubt it's going to look top notch. So the in-ring stuff's got to be top notch to match what you've put into exactly. this. Exactly. Right. Exactly. I mean, I, like, I don't, I don't want to... Dude, man, you know how these locker rooms are, you know? Yeah. And, and it's not against talent because, I mean, I, I was on the other side of the of course, fence. Right. And I've always said it that uh, when you're on the other side of the fence and you kind of see all the bullshit that a lot of these wrestlers go through, but they also got to see a lot of the bullshit they put promoters through. Right. Um, the, the, the constant bitching and moaning, the constant, you know, I don't get along with this one or I don't get along with that one or I have an issue with that one or, you know, those days are over. I don't want to hear that. You know, I, I do not want to hear that. Because the reason is this. When it comes down to it, if you're too busy looking at the other guy, what he's not doing, right? that means you weren't doing what you were supposed, supposed to be doing. To be, right. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm busy working, I don't got time to watch the other guy. Right. You know, but some people want to play security and they want to, they want to watch everybody, you know. Can't do that. Can't do that. So basically, I mean, what you're saying is this vision is pretty much from your sons, right? This is pretty this much his. This whole arena, uh, the reason why it has his name on it, it's not because, you know, because of the tragedy. It's not because he passed away. It's not, th this, this building was designed, uh, 
Uh, there might be a couple of little, you know, twists and things that I had to change because, you know, realistically, he envisioned, but he, you know, the color scheme might be a little right. bit different than what he thought. Um, the entrance is, is exactly the idea we had. Wow. Uh, the ramp was all his idea. Um, you know, um, if you know us personally, <laughs> me and him were uh, trying to research another business that we were trying to get right, into. Right. And we were trying to get into the food truck business. And um, it kind of fell to the back burner in, in a sense because we weren't really, right. 100% we weren't really off the wrestling right. yet. So we were putting out some ideas together on, on, on that aspect. So I basically took all of what we were thinking of doing. Okay. And it's in that concession now. I, I can honestly sit here and say, I think you'd be proud because this is unbelievable. This is yeah. unlike any arena. And I just want people to understand too at home that you did this. You didn't uh, hire yeah. a, a team of people to come in here. No, no, no. I mean, I've had, I, I've had a few, uh, a few uh, guys, you know, that have come and, and, and helped out. But it's not like you're sitting back drinking margaritas. And uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, no, I'm I'm the one nailing and cutting and measuring and painting, <laughs> painting, and, yeah. and uh, you know, um, I, I, like I said, I mean, I've had uh, a couple of people come in, you know, you know, not as many as I thought really were gonna come in. Um, a lot of people think this is all about wrestling, um, but this is more personal to me. Is um, it easier to say this is the most personal arena you've put together? Is the fourth one? Easily, this is the this most. This is the most personal. Yeah, yeah. This is the most personal. I'll be honest with you, um, and you know, um, I feel it's, it's kind of weird, but uh, every time I'm in this building and I'm working, I'm, you know, I mean, I'm I'm putting hours in of here. Course, yeah. Um, it's it's not easy to paint five thousand square feet with a roller. You know, there is no uh, air uh, pressure painting. Wow. There's no air painting. This we're talking about roller. This is real um, grunt work, and, and and not for nothing. I mean, there's uh, there's there's a guy, there's one person that I really want to give a shout out to, and it's Ref Anthony. Um, Ref Anthony really stepped up real big here. Um, he kind of sees the vision, and he kind of he kind of sees as a father, you know, what I'm trying to put out for my son. Um, and he's been here with me day in and day out. Um, and that man loves to paint. <laughs> man, can he paint? You know, he just zones out on his own paint, and you know, he can go and you know, believe it or not, he painted the arena in two wow. days. That's crazy. In two days, that and I'm nuts. talking with with second coats, and I, I was, it was freaking insane. I was like, "Yo, <laughs> slow down." He's like, "You know, let's do this. Let's do this." And uh, he sees, you know, he's helped me. You know, uh, we've man, we've done so much work. I'm, I'm talking like. We've ripped floors out. We've ripped the whole bar out. Uh, we've laid new floor. We've laid new counters. We laid. Uh, I mean, it's it, I mean, I mean you took a look great. at it. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's the stuff. unlike any of the other arenas before. I mean, it, it but we took away. a little bit. The, the the thing with with Mikey was he was so in love with Sip Street. Right. Well, we all were. Well, we all were to an extent. To an extent, everybody. We were, is, yeah. But. I, like to him, it hit him harder because to him was like uh, he would always tell me, "Dad, we got to get an arena. Well, you know, can you talk to this guy in Sip Street, see if we can get back in there?" I was like, "Listen, I talked to the guy. The guy yeah. doesn't, you know, want to budge. You know, he wants to do other things. Oh, but it just I was raised there. That's hard, yeah. You know, it's, it's and he always thing. had that. You know, I was raised there. You know, I, I, you know, I used to go to after school to go there, and it's like that's where you know we, where we we did a lot of things. We had the office, and we had this, and we had, but you know, um, not knowing what was going to happen, you know, we we came in to try, right? Just to throw the numbers around. I mean, I just wanted to find out. I mean, think about it. We were three years without the arena. And in those three years, we really wasn't really that successful. I mean, a lot of people, you know, want to want to lie to themselves. You know how I you're been. usually pretty. You're, I'm pretty. I'm you're more so negative grounded. than you, when you should be positive. You are negative because I believe that the minute you you acknowledge or you put yourself in that predicament where you say we are the best, right? What is there else to fight for? It's very true. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, when you put there and you say, well, we're, we're, we're there, we're improving. 
it gives you more to keep fighting for. Right. But once you say we're the best, what else do you have to prove? Is there more motivation now to be successful than before because there's so much of your late son's input in this arena and in the product over the years? Do you feel that more pressure to be more successful now? I, I actually, to be honest, I don't even feel the pressure. Really? Wow. I don't. I don't. I, I really don't feel the pressure. I think more the pressure to me is that it's taking too damn long. <laughs> you know, I would have I would have rather have my, uh, my I would be right now promoting my you know my second show. Right. But it has taken a little bit longer because I'm also working with my 11 year old that has therapy three Sorry. times a week. Uh, it's not like before. Before I can get an arena done in three four yeah, days yeah, you know I mean, remember we did we did the 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 first second floor arena i did it in 19 days that's true and that's i'm true. talking like it was just an empty warehouse we built walls we ran electricity we changed lighting we did floor we did a whole bunch of things in 19 days that's crazy. it's taking me a little bit longer we also have more room here but he was bigger, bigger. he yeah. was bigger definitely is bigger but we had more more um more help at that point because everybody was part of it uh, you know it it's a little hurt, not hurtful in a sense because in two reality, um, I've, I've, like you said, four different arenas. You've been through this. So many yeah, different people have come this. by, you know, come through the, you know, the locker room and stuff like that. It, nothing really hurts me anymore. Just disappointed on, on, on the lack of effort from other people, especially knowing that this is something that it's really more based around the memory of, right. of Mikey. It's not just another arena. It's just, yeah, to put it's together. just not right. another arena. I mean, uh, it, it probably would have been that way if the tragedy would have never happened. We, you know, we would have been on our second show because me and the kid would have been in here day and a night. Right, right. But, um, but, but going back to the whole thing, it could have been a, just a regular arena. You know, right. uh, uh, you know, simple. Just you know, get let's it up run and shows. Let's run. Right. Let's just run shows and 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 just you know, let's do film. You know, the, the overdrive shows. You didn't and have to change anything. You you were running here previously. I was really here. running here previously, hating it because it looked like <laughs> shit. But um, but now it just gives me a satisfaction that he's here with us. Of you course. know, um, yeah. uh, we're 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 in, we're in a building that has a lot to do with his design. So to me, that part is more of emotional for me. Of course, yeah. But do I feel more motivated to be more successful now than I did before? I've always been okay. motivated for success. You know, it, it, remember, success is always your victory. And that's one of the main key things that I always told Michael. No matter what you do in this life, as long as you succeed at that, that's your victory, and then you move on to another victory. Right. Boxers don't don't box once. They keep going. Right. They keep going. Right. So it's the same. It's the same concept. You 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 know we, we we remodel the arena. Now it's let's pack it. Right. Now packing it, it's let's maintain it getting packed. Let's maintain bringing in new students and training students the right way. Right. You know. So it's you're always leading. You're always motivated to move forward. I. I'm emotionally more attached to this one in oh. a sense cuz you know it's part of my Naturally, you know it's yeah. part of my son. Naturally. But I have still have the same motivation I did when I first started the first one. You know, it, it, it I had a goal. You know, and every single goal I've met and some of them I by, right. passed by like on your miles an hour, but this one is more about about honoring my son. Having the 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 city of Wallington uh, acknowledging the building name change, acknowledging, you know, uh, the town, oh, you know, really open arms. Really, I'm getting, the, you know, I'm really getting treated here with open arms. I mean, these people have been really nice to you um, from what yeah, you're Yeah, I mean, me. they, yeah. they've, they've, you know, I'm talking from the mayor's office to, you know, to a lot of the, you know, political people and, and then not only just the political people, but the town itself, you right. know. Um, you know, uh, the Knights of Columbus, which are still in the building, they, they, they are downstairs in, in the, their studio hall downstairs. Um, they really didn't have a necessary for the whole building. Right. So they, you know, they reached out to me and, um, and basically they're still here there and they're giving me an opportunity. You know, it's, it's not like, you know, we're, 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 we're partners if you want to look at it this way, right. because, you know, we're. We're basically, you know, covering the, to maintain the building. Right. So, uh, just changing subject a little. Do you think you've been 
doing this for 10, 15 years promoting now easily, and it's not even counting wrestling. I've been doing this for 25. Okay, but promoting-wise? Promoting-wise, uh, I would say going on 19. Wow, so I was on 19 for years. 19, yeah. believe it or not, I uh, I don't even want to name this name. <laughs> <laughs> I started, believe it or not, because I got hired to uh, book a show. Really? We were just talking about that a little yeah. while ago, but I'm just not going to even mention the guy's name. Wow, anyway. that's how it started? That's so crazy. That's how, believe it or not, I was that's actually crazy. wrestling, and uh, he came up to me, and... Um, he asked me to help him book a show, you know, and I just, I don't know, I just, I was like, all right, I'll help you. Sure. I didn't even think about it, but you're going to have to pay me for that <laughs> shit. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's how it really started. I, I, I did that one uh, with him. I saw how <laughs> chaotic it could be, right. but it, it, grew, it grew a vision on what possibility, I, you know, what I could add to it. Right. And it, 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 it was a natural at it. And that's when I ended up uh, working with Bandito Sr. And we opened up uh, UWA. And I was booking the shows on the fly. Every wow. show, walked into the building, put the shows together, put the card together. You know, it was, it, it was one of those it's things where it's totally to different. Today. Yeah, today. <laughs> today, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared. Tenfold. Tenfold, <laughs> yeah. like, completely. But... The business has also changed. Well, that was kind of getting to my next question is you've been around 20 years promoting. Is independent wrestling in a boom period or about to kick off into a boom period? It's you about think? to kick off again. Okay. That, that's it's what about to kick off again, but there's only one problem. What's that? Where's the talent? Okay. Everybody is so busy concentrating on the names, right. and God bless them. Oh, yeah. Everybody who's, who's ever made it, who's ever been on TV, who's, God bless all of them. Because without them paving the way, a lot of the young kids will not have it. But who's making new talent? Where's the new talent for this big boom coming? Okay. Where are the, you know, if you, and I was having this conversation with, believe it or not, with, with uh, Mike Donovan uh, a couple of days ago. It's, there is a lot of new talent, but that new talent hasn't even scratched the surface yet. And here comes the big boom. Okay. You know, um, the business is about to start taking off again. The question is, where's the talent to give that boom. addiction right. of the boom? Right. You know, you, you're going to have people willing to spend money to watch wrestling. But what's going to be the big boom? Is it going to be for a couple of months or if it's going to be a couple of years? The last time we had it, you know, it, it ran for three, four, five yeah. years. Yeah. You know, where wrestling was hot. Yeah. Then it took a nosedive. You yeah. know, a lot of people disappeared. That's true too. A lot of companies disappeared because there was the it was a downtime. Downtime, right? You know, uh, you know, God bless the ones that that stuck around. You're one of them. You know, but again, yeah, because I don't, you know, I, I, I don't have common sense <laughs> to leave, but. The the thing is now we're at a big boom. It's gonna kick off. That's what I'm thinking too. I it's mean, gonna kick off nice. Okay. The problem is, is there talent to support the big boom to make it last more than a year? Is there more satisfaction in getting a show together with guys that you're developing than the names that you pay to bring in? Is there more of a satisfaction that you are help paving the way for these guys in a way? Well, to me it is. Okay. To me it is. To me, I'm, I'm going to explain to you. That it's 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 like a parent raising a child. Right. You you know your first day of kindergarten mm -hmm. to the day they graduate high school. You know all that is a satisfaction of seeing your your child grow. Seeing you know it's the same thing as a talent. You 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 take a new guy and you 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 give him the basics and then you guide him through and you teach him and then you see their growth. Some people, just speaking as a general form, when their students are going to take off or they're about to, you know, go to the next level, they tend to try to hold them back. Right, because you don't want to lose your cash cow. You don't want to lose your, you know. Right. It's not even about the cash cow. It's more about, you know, you know, I'm the one who did everything for right. you. Right, I made you, know. you this. It's yeah. just like that entitlement, right. you know. And 
that's where the business goes wrong. You got to let them fly a little bit. You know, let let them make a name and they'll still come back to you. Right. right. I'm going to give you a, a great example. And I've never taken any credit for Jay and Jay Lethal whatsoever. Never. I've never taken any credit. Uh, I, I, I believe that was a positive influence on him in certain aspects. You were there. So you, yeah. you would know. Oh, absolutely. Also, never taking credit for anything that he's ever done. But he's the guy that blossomed. Right. And keeps blossoming. He's arguably one of the top workers top, in the world right, right now. Absolutely. But when uh, Mike Morgan needs a favor or needs him to honor his son, all I got to do is make one phone call and he's still there. Right. So sometimes when you build new talent, I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of them are assholes. Let's just go back to that one. Right. Some of them have made it really big. Of course. Beyond big. The biggest. You the can biggest. Get. The biggest. And you can get. does not give one single ounce of acknowledgement whatsoever to where she came from. Pretty much but that's a different here, story yeah, for sure. another day. Sure. That, you know, I'll leave that for the shoot. <laughs> but, um, but guys like Jay, guys like Azrael, guys like Jesus, man. I mean, I, I can go down the list of guys that... Man, if you would actually see the text, the calls I got for everybody to come in to do the Mikey show, right. I would have ran 10 hours. That's how much talent. I can imagine. But i am always been a firm believer that if you're with me today and in six weeks you're still here, right. I'm not going to forget about and put the pass right. over the new guys that were here. So I made sure that everybody that was here got on, but I also brought a lot of people that were very close. You know, uh, Jay was very close yep. with Mikey. Um, you know, I, I brought him in, you know, um, um, who else? You know, I, I called Azrael. Azrael was in, going to school and stuff like yeah. that, so he was doing his thing. Um, still was there though. You know, you had so he many still guys, showed up. So he many still guys showed up. There. A lot of the older guys showed up, and this is not knocking the ones that couldn't show right, up right. or didn't have a right to show up or or, or any other case. Right. I mean, that's that, that's here or there. That's not even the important part. The most important part that I'm trying to get at is that when you do right by people, as, even as a student, and they're taking off, you got to be well and confident enough that you can pick up the phone. And get them to come, come back, back and help you out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we all know it's documented that me and Chris Rockwell had, a, had an issue. Right. A misunderstanding on the business, sure. on his aspect and my aspect. Because I could be hard-headed. I'm not going to say I'm not. Two different opinions. It happens. Two different opinions about something. Uh, we, we didn't speak for a while. And it came down to the day of the show. And, you know, he, he, he hit me up. And, um, and I asked him. I said, you know, you want to be part of the show. You know. Um, I'm not, I don't keep grudges right. for some apparent reason. People, they, 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 they leave in bad sense. Let's say for instance, they have an issue and then we have a disagreement, they leave and then they see you and then they're like, they don't want to even talk. It was like, right. like I really give me about an hour and I'll forget about yeah, that shit. Yeah. You know, like it's, I don't hold grudges, you know? Right. I mean, if we, if we haven't spoken in three years, it's definitely, definitely because yeah. you have not reached out. Because if you, you reach out, I'm going to talk to you. Right. I mean, I'm not the type of person to hold a grudge or all that uh -uh. stuff. I don't got time for that. Especially, you know, I like to sleep at night. <laughs> so, but going again, you know, we went off topic again. Going again into the thing, when you let your students grow, you have to be confident enough that you were such an influence on their life, on their, on their wrestling career, that when you need them, to help, they're Don't there back. for you. Right. You know. There's only been a handful of guys, though, I think, that you can... Uh -huh. There's been a handful of guys that you have. There, yeah. yeah, you know, I've been lucky. You know why? Because I've treated them the same way I want to be treated. Right. You know, um, I've, I've helped them when they needed, um, and they've been there for me, you know. Um, I've respected them. I don't judge them. I don't look down to anybody. I, I, I believe that it's my job to... Bring them up. Right, motivate you. Motivate them. Right. Because why, why do you want a you know, sad, pitiful, yeah. depressed wrestler? That's I, mean, your, I don't want to see yeah, that. You're, I mean, it's bad character. enough that you know, there's some pitiful wrestling out now, <laughs> but either way. I don't want to put any pressure on you, but I mean, what, what month do you think grand opening first show? In your mind. First least? show? Yeah. May 9th. 
just going to throw out May 9th. May 9th. All right. I was hoping for a month. So yeah, I no, no, put no. The May 9th. On May 9th. The goal is May 9th. If you don't have a goal, that's true. You can't meet that goal. Right. Uh, I can tell you. May, June I can say, shit. I can say May. May. Right. I can say May. There's 31 <laughs> days, man. <laughs> I'm giving you a date. That's true. May 9th. May 9th. But we're also. Saturday be, night? Uh, Saturday night. Right. We're, gonna, we're, we're, we're looking to uh, have everything ready. Uh, like I said, we're really only a couple of days away from That's having awesome. everything ready. Um, the only thing I'm saying, May 9th, give me some chances to promote it. Um, give me a chance to make a couple of calls. I'm trying to, you know, make it special. But um, we're going to have an open house. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do an open house. Is that for talent or fans or both? That's for talent. Okay. That's for That's talent that wants to, you know, see the place, wants to come and check out the place um, for... Possible students. I mean, I already have a couple of handful that are hitting me up already. Oh, nice. Um, Time to again, nothing a... is solid. Nothing is confirmed until it happens. But um, so there's a new crop of East there's guys always going to yeah. you know you open the doors, people will come. That's just, just I know we're is. running short on time. I did want to ask you a question. I want to forget. What do you uh, wrestlers send you things and you say, oh, maybe this guy's good? Or do you go out and watch certain promotions and say, ooh, this guy? How how does it work for you personally? It used to be that I used to go out and 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 look at talent. Okay. Um, it changed. Okay. Reasons why it changed is because everybody's using the same fucking same guy. Facts, so I can right. just go to one show and get it there over with. Go. There you go. Um, but no, no. But besides all that, uh, that, that was just uh, a little pop shot. <laughs> um, <laughs> things have changed, man. Right. Now it's social media. Now you get guys right. to send you tapes. I wish they would learn how to, you know sent them so that way it, it, it doesn't become uh, I mean if you trip on the ropes don't send don't me send that, that yeah. you know because that's the first good, thing I'm yeah. going to do and the second thing is make sure that the first two minutes is the best stuff that you got because Grasp if you, I, I get fucking bored yeah, easily yeah. I mean I think I think I have AD on un, fucking because <laughs> I get bored easily you I can't watch really a million watch. wrestling Dude, matches I have yeah. not <laughs> even watch my own shit really I book it it's done that's it huh that's it it's done you know, why do you go back in history on things that you already have, you know, but they, they can send me videos, uh, you know, they can either find me on, on, on Facebook if they, uh, if they want to, who is not on Facebook, well, yeah. either way, they can send me, uh, send me a link on, on, on Facebook, you know, I'll watch them, I watch everything people send me. Where could they send it? Uh, to the Mike Morgan, uh, f uh, Facebook page or the Ace Facebook pages, okay. either way, um, or they can actually email me to uh, Ace Pro Wrestling, Ace Wrestling NJ dot com. Ace Wrestling NJ dot com. Yeah, we're almost uh, we're almost set to go, Mike. I want to thank you for doing this with us. We appreciate it. This is going to be unbelievable when it's all said and done. Um, thank you. As the talent side, I'm excited, and it's it, it's crazy because I've been through. This is my fourth arena, and I'm more excited now than I was for the other three. You would think after a while we'd almost... Well, you know what it is? Because we, we evolve. Yeah. Uh, we, we move forward. We don't move backwards. Um, and uh, shit, the first arena. Jesus, yeah. where was the locker room on the first arena? Oh, it used to be a stairwell. <laughs> it used to be a stairwell. And it would be a uh, mirror. And right when you would be like... Three, two, three flights of stairs, and once you got like in between flights, there'd be a mirror on the wall. Just check yourself out. Just check yourself Chest out. Chest high though. Yeah, Chest yeah, high. Yeah. You didn't just get too just high. to make sure that you were okay. Make sure you're looking but good, and then you kept going. So this we, is we, nuts, man. This is like crazy. I said, we we have evolved. Uh, I mean, things things are totally different, and it's really all hands on because it this has all been done. Like I said, I've had some help. Um, you know, like I said, with Ref Anthony coming in and and being, you know here you know almost after work every other you know every other night um i've also had help from cheyenne who does the overdrive uh and does commentary now also uh he comes in like twice maybe three times i mean week. shows i mean this place looks um, great shows and i mean there's other guys who you know able to come once or, you know one day a week and stuff like that i mean i appreciate it any any time right and i'll be honest with you most of these guys you know uh, i mean they're not construction guys well, they're not no, you yeah. know they're not at to the level that I that, that I I mean I've been doing this for years, right? Um, but it's good to have just some morale, you know. Like you know, right. even if it's just have a conversation while you're working, right? You know, like I don't expect guys to come here. I really do not expect anybody to leave their family or their girlfriends or their kids and, and just to be here. That's that's never been the case. Right. I I honestly, you know, 
you could ask 99% of the locker room. I really never called anybody for no. this project. No. Uh, you know, and I've really never called anybody for the, the other projects either. either. Yeah, uh, no. It's like you show up great. Let's go to you work. show up great. If you don't, you don't. don't um, right. um, but uh, it's, it's a little hurtful in a sense because I expected a lot of other people to really be right on, 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 you know, if it bothered you so much. You know, and I and I saw so much, you know, grief w when the tragedy happened and the funeral and all that stuff. I figured, you know, everybody would support, um, support this and 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 really be here more so than the other times. More so, right. you know. But um, I I mean, it is what it is. I mean, that's really water under the bridge. I really not holding grudges. About, I'm not, I don't hold right. grudges like that. I really don't care. You know what it is. I mean, right now my main focus is I have a goal. Right. And the goal is to give the best quality entertainment possible that I can possibly give. And I expect guys to entertain. If right. you're here to entertain yourself, it's not gonna this is out. not the place to be at. <laughs> no. Definitely not going to be the place to be at. If you want to learn and you, know, you want to get a chance to grab a mic and actually screw up your promo and, and learn from that promo and have somebody go... When you hit the back, tell you, listen, you messed up here, here, and right. there. But you know what? Next month, you hear the mic again. You know, do it again. If you're, if you're a guy or a girl, whatever the hell it is, you know, there's some mutants out there too, but <laughs> um, that you want to learn this craft and you really, you know, really want to put an effort to really entertain and really um, come in and, and basically uh, learn this business, you know, um, I welcome anybody to come in. This is the know? opportunity people. This is the opportunity. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not locking anybody to no membership fee. I'm not. You know. I. I don't. I don't. I'm just gonna do what I've been doing for ten years. The only reason um, for ten years. I mean, for the longest time in the arena in Union City, I'm not gonna change my way of doing things. Right. Um, business has changed, but. Uh, I'm still the same person. I'm going to continue to try to grow. I'm, you know, I would love to see another person make it, uh, make it big. I just hope this time they don't forget where they came from. <laughs> right. But that's a different story. <laughs> um, and it's not even about getting the acknowledgement either. It's more about the respect. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't expect, you know, I guess, you know, they, they make it big and they figure, oh, wow, he's going to want something. I don't, it's not even about that. It's just, you know, let the other person know where... Who helped you get there? Right. Or who 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 opened the doors to for you to get there? You know what I'm saying? Again, I I've never I've never come off and said that you know I a hundred percent was trained by me, but you know I always say Jay was the head trainer at that point at that present time. Um, we trained people together. We discussed everything, talent, how they were moving, how, you know how they were prog you know progressing right. and all the other whatever the hell it's called. Right. Um, so, yeah, but it comes down to this. If Mike Morgan didn't have the school. Where would you be? <laughs> there would never be any students of Jay Lethal. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a combination of everybody that trained at Ace and was trained by Jay was trained by Ace. Because at that present time, Jay was part of Ace. Banner, right? It's on the Ace banner. And, and, and I love Jay. I mean, you know, me and Jay are real, real, real tight friends and and i will always respect him and his family and but a lot of people tend to forget you know how that worked out how that worked out i mean jay was a great fucking trainer man jay's well one you hell see of a it trainer. in the work today i mean he's one of the best you know so day. what last question i know we're running short on time what can the fans expect in may 9th i'm gonna hold you to it what can they expect from i guess a new ace well it's not really a new ace because when you start you I know guess. it's a new beginning it's a new beginning. It's a, it's, it's, they, they're going to expect 110 from me to give them the best matches possible that night. Um, also with their understanding that I'm, I'm bringing in new people. I'm bringing in and, I, and I'm going to end up uh, building a foundation for what's going to come. Okay. You know, um, I'm not going to put all my eggs in, the, in one basket on the ninth because that would be dumb. But then what do I have to give them right. down the line? Right. What basically what they're going to really expect is is 110 percent of my efforts to give them the best eight possible matches, the best eight entertaining matches and give them a beginning of new stories that they can follow. 
towards just the future. Okay. I thank you for doing this, and we are going to get back when it's all said and done. On the 9th, I'm hopefully going to be here and uh, be able to uh, maybe shoot some more stuff when it's all said all and right, done. You're officially booked. You're the first person. Yes, I'm in. I'm in, <laughs> folks. Mike, thank you so much thank for doing you. this. Thank I appreciate you so it. Much. Thank you.